Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. My camera had an actual heart attack. Um, so this is gonna be part two of that video, so... Just keep watching like nothing happens. Okay, so anyway... Where was I even going before my camera exploded? I can't even find the right pen I was using. Okay, so yeah, boil it down to its simplest, just the simplest form. Doing that would just, is just going to make everything a lot easier. So, all this stuff about, like, all these eyes and all these legs, and everything else came afterwards, right? So, like, really, we just have to boil it down to, like, the bare bones. Like, what is it? Like, what are we doing? What are we drawing? Like, what is it? Like, it's like an elevator pitch. Like, you know, tell me in the next, like, 30 seconds. Like, what is it? If it's super long and convoluted and... It's got too many moving parts, it'll all just fall apart, and it just won't be good. So, an example of this is with my, um, my Gunther character that I was talking about earlier. And I was thinking about it. So, it's like, this character was so many things, right? I wanted him to be, him or her, to be, like, my underdog character. Like, the main character that's, like... He start, they like start out at the very start of it or whatever. They start out and they don't really know much about the world around them. And they're just like not equipped yet. And they really just don't know what's going on. But like as time moves on, they start to get better. And like, you know, classic underdog story. But see, like I was, that was like super vague because there were way too many moving parts in, like, the story before. Like, before he was, um, they were, like, a farmer, and then they, like, decided to, like, move out, and, like, see, it's, like, it just didn't go anywhere, because it's just too many moving parts, too many things that didn't make any sense. Like, it was just too complicated. So, I followed my, followed the advice that, um, that one, that one video gave me, and narrowed it down. So, I narrowed it down to two objects, an old dusty book and a potted plant. So with these two objects, we can, like, I can already have, like, tons of ideas of what's going on. Like, are they a librarian who really likes plants? Are they a plant who was grown in a library? Like, like, why do they like books so much, you know? What is the old dusty book of? Is it like a memoir? Is it like a book that they're writing? Is it something that they held on to? Is it a spell book? And like, see from there, you can just, like, the, the ideas are already flowing just from those two objects. And I'm sure I can, if I went deeper, I could make a, I could like really make a full, a full character from just those, from just those couple things. So that, that's my advice to you. Really just simplify your characters, right? Just simplify, like, narrow it down to one or two or three objects, right? And, like, really just go from there. Like, when you like, and when you do that, like, your character designs, you'll be more creative. You'll have to work harder for whatever that you're making. And it'll just be, what is it? It'll just be more fun. Yeah, so I'm so sorry that my camera exploded. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to watch this in two parts. So yeah, just keep your drawing simple and all that. Um, I'm Fritz. Thank you for watching. And remember, keep your head above water.